Hi, my name is Evgeny. I've been in the tech industry for over six years now, but I still remember how it all started. At the beginning of my career, I didn't have any experience, nor did I have any degree in computer science. As a matter of fact, I have a marketing degree, but it didn't stop me from becoming a developer, get a six-figure job, and work in three different countries all over the world. If I can do it, I'm sure anyone can. In this video, I will go over some of the platforms and tools I use to learn programming and uh, will explain which of them are still relevant and if I would suggest using them for beginners now. Let's begin. When I decided to change career, I was a poor marketing student. Doing my college degree, I didn't have any money to spare and that actually narrowed down what I can use to learn to code. During that time, most of the courses were actually paid, like Code Academy or Treehouse, so in this video I will mostly show you free platforms I use, but there are some that you might need to pay if you want a certificate, but it's not necessary, you can get by without paying. So first on the list is uh, FreeCodeCamp. For me, FreeCodeCamp played a huge role in my career. It is the only platform that I actually managed to stick to. Yeah, I know how it feels when you jump from one source to another or start over because you think you have missed something. Yeah, I've been there too. But Frequent Camp is where I actually stopped doing that and tried to finish the whole thing. And I got a job before I even finished. Frequent Camp for me was like a roadmap. It had a list of the exercises you need to complete and a list of projects you need to finish and submit to get an actual certificate. I used it mostly to guide me what I need to know and then I find information online to learn those topics. So now I believe uh, they have all the information right on the website, so you don't need to do that. When it comes to projects on FreeCodeCamp, they structured like this. Uh, so you have an information about the project you need to do, and uh, you have a list of things the project should include and you are pretty much on your own. With a trial and error, you need to complete a project and submit it to get a certificate. And that's actually a good thing. It doesn't matter how you do it, you just need to satisfy the list of requirements to get that certificate. That doing on your own taught me a lot. When you get stuck and search online to fix bugs or find how, how to make new feature is actually a useful skill. As a matter of fact, that's what we developers do most of our time anyway. After completing all the projects, you will at the end get a portfolio of some kind to show to the potential employer. And you will get a certificate that might impress recruiters. That portfolio and that certificate actually were the things that played a huge role in the beginning of my career. Recruiters tend to ask me about my experience and I was referencing them to certificates and projects. Because otherwise I, I didn't have any experience or degree. So yeah, would I still suggest to start on free Got camp? Definitely yes. Uh, I've seen a bit of how they improved it over all these years and yeah, it would provide you with the foot in the door with the projects and certificates, plus you will learn a lot, join an awesome community and it can actually be the only source that you need to get a job if you stick to it. You don't really need any other platform aside from FreeCodeCamp if you want. In my opinion, FreeCodeCamp will help you get a job in a small to medium startup where they value the hands-on knowledge of libraries and languages, which is probably what you want as a new developer anyway. So if you want to get into a big company, it will also help you, but in my opinion there are better sources. The second source that I have used is a Harvard CS50 course. This is awesome course to take if you want to have a, a core knowledge of computer science. This is the best introduction course to computer science there is, based on my opinion. It might not give you enough knowledge to pass your interviews to big companies probably, but it will give you um, such great fundamental knowledge that you will build upon and it will just be easier to learn thereafter. I recommend this course to anyone who is serious about becoming a good developer. When I was doing CS50 in 2014-15, they used to have only one version if I remember correctly, but now there are um, about 10 different ones. There is an introduction course that I think every new and experienced developer should take. I think it's just called CS50 Introduction. It's just such a fun course. Then 
after introduction course, there are different courses that focus on some specific paths like uh, web programming, game development, artificial intelligence, and even CS50 computer science for lawyers. Not sure what they teach there. These courses are 100% free, but if you want to have a certificate, then you need to pay. I didn't do the certificate. The certificate from FreeCodeCam was enough for me, but if you want to stand out, then I would definitely suggest purchasing. The last source on my list is a bit strange. It is a GitHub repository with outstanding 220,000 stars. Uh, to compare, React, one of the most used JavaScript libraries built by Meta, is only 188 stars. Anyway, you can see it's pretty popular. The repository is called Coding Interview University. I will include all the links down below so you can check it out. The repository was developed by John Washam and it basically is a to-do list or a study plan, if you will, with all the topics you need to learn to get a job at the FANG level company. So this one will provide you with more structured, in-depth information that you would need for a big company interview. John Washam himself uh, finished the study plan and got a software engineer job in Amazon. Uh, this list, as you can imagine, has a huge support and community, based on how many stars it has. <laughs> it was translated to 14 different languages. Would I suggest using this? This list to a new developer? Yes and no. I think this to-do list is a great way to level up your career after you had maybe a year or two of experience as a developer. It will teach you how to get into a big company and how to move from being a developer to being a software engineer. This is exactly what John Washam did himself. He went from being a front-end developer to software engineer in eight months of learning by using his roadmap. So yes, if you you like challenges and had some spare time and would like to work in the big tech company, then by all means, go ahead and do it. This roadmap is for you. Otherwise, I would suggest to start on FreeCodeCamp. There is one more source or rather a tool I want to recommend. When I, I was studying programming, I used to forget a lot of stuff weeks after I finished learning it. And it was a really big issue for me. I, I remember I finished uh, learning functions, moved to classes, and I forgot how to write functions. So I started using flashcards and that's my suggestion use flashcards. Whatever kind you like, be it physical flashcard or digital, uh, it doesn't matter. It will help you with your learning tremendously. I always use Anki. It is an open source flashcard software with a huge community and a ton of plugins. I use it for pretty much everything uh, right now. Even if I read some article and I want to remember some key points, I just make a flashcard. The secret is consistently do reviews every day. It's a funny analogy, but if you stick to it, it's like you're uploading data into your mind. Well, it feels like it. I will also include links to download Enki so you can check it out. But yeah, these are some of the stuff I've used when I was learning programming. Recently, I also started using Obsidian as a note-taking application with Zettel Custom method. I'm pretty new with all of this, but I might make a separate video about it if you want. Uh, so so thank you everyone for watching. This is my first video, so if you want to see more, please consider leaving a like. It will show me that I did a good job. Otherwise, good luck with your studies. You can definitely do it. Bye.